These days, it seems like every developer and their dog are claiming that their new game is a Souls-like, presumably in the hope of generating hype from gamers who love nothing more than a good challenge. But have you ever stopped to think about what really makes a Souls-like? Opinions do vary, but most are in agreement that a game needs to fulfil a certain number of different criteria. Obviously, it needs to be more difficult than average, but a hard time alone does not a Souls-like make. Anything claiming to fit into the subgenre should also include risky combat and hard-hitting enemies, sparse checkpoints, enemies that drop a resource akin to souls, labyrinthine levels with shortcuts, and of course, the corpse run. For this list, we're looking at some of the best titles that tick many of these boxes. We've already spent multiple hours with Elden Ring and we're just dying for more souls action, an itch which these titles are sure to scratch. I'm Ben from Triple Jump, and here are 10 great Souls-like video games that aren't Soulsborne. Number 10. Hollow Knight Upon a cursory glance, it might seem like 2017's Hollow Knight has little in common with the Dark Souls series. It's a 2D side-scroller that sits firmly in Camp Metroidvania, so what the heck is it doing on this list? Opinions are divided as to whether or not Hollow Knight is a Souls-like at all, but we're willing to give it a pass for a couple of reasons. A. It borrows a number of elements from the genre, and two, it's really good. The main way in which Hollow Knight is inspired by FromSoft's various franchises is in its storytelling. The Soul series is famed for concealing its narrative in item descriptions, meaning that players will have to be paying close attention if they want to have any hopes of understanding what's going on. Hollow Knight does pretty much the same thing, meaning that players will need to piece together the plot from tiny morsels of information gleaned from less than obvious sources. Hollow Knight also requires players to complete the corpse run should they die, else all of their hard-earned cash will be lost, never to return. Sure, the combat is different and the healing system is far more forgiving than in other Souls-likes, but Hollow Knight goes a good way to filling that Souls void, especially if players fancy a dash of Metroidvania in the mix as well. Number 9. Darksiders 3 Prior to 2018, the Darksiders series hadn't really dipped its toe into the Souls waters, generally opting for the more traditional hack-and-slash gameplay inspired by the likes of The Legend of Zelda. Darksiders 3, on the other hand, skipped the toe-dipping and instead went for a full-on cannonball into the Souls-like pool. Though it is missing one or two of the elements that one might associate with the subgenre, most sources agree that Darksiders 3 does enough to be considered a Souls-like. Admittedly, players won't find any stamina meter tied combat, but there's still the same requirement to familiarise themselves with their opponent's fighting style and methodically plan their attacks so that they don't find themselves harshly punished by the game. Darksiders 3 also utilises the same sort of map design as the Souls games, incorporating sparse checkpoints and shortcuts in a similar way to its inspiration. Oh, and of course, the whole thing is incredibly challenging. One of the things that makes Darksiders 3 stand out from other Souls-likes is the fact that it retains many of the puzzle and problem-solving elements from previous games, making it perfect for anyone looking for a little bit of Souls without overdoing it. Number 8. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order it might come as a bit of a surprise to see Jedi Fallen Order on this list, as at first glance it might not seem like a suitable candidate. Epic lightsaber battles, force-assisted parkour, and an explicit story that isn't told through item descriptions all seem like things that would be out of place in a Souls-like. But scratch just a little below the surface and you'll find a number of gameplay mechanics that are clearly inspired by From Software's works. In terms of story, Jedi Fallen Order is set five years after the events of Revenge of the Sith and follows Padawan Cal Kestis as he is hunted across the galaxy by the Galactic Empire. Players can expect to face off against members of the Empire and unfriendly aliens in battles that rely on understanding how the adversary fights. Knowing when to dodge, block, and attack are all crucial to besting any aggressors, so anyone going in expecting to be able to just swing their lightsaber with reckless abandon is going to be in for a rough time. In addition, there are a few checkpoints, players are rewarded for thorough exploration, and there's even a sort of Estus flask in the form of BD-1. Aww, isn't he cute? Number 7. The Surge If you're in the market for a game that's a bit like Dark Souls in terms of its gameplay mechanics, but one that eschews the high fantasy in favour of a more futuristic sci-fi type setting, then you could do worse than to pick up a copy of The Surge. Considered by some to be a spiritual successor to developer Deck 13 Interactive's earlier RPG, Lords of the Fallen, the surge takes place in a dystopian future, one where mankind has exhausted the world's resources. 
Thanks to the widespread use of drones, mass unemployment is the order of the day and humans are forced to turn to augmentations in order to keep up. Fans of the Souls series will find that the level design of The Surge is hugely reminiscent of their beloved franchise, sending players out into maze-like surroundings and putting emphasis on exploration. The combat is also incredibly challenging, with most enemies able to down the player in just a couple of hits. Though there isn't the variety of enemies that there are in the Souls series, the combat system allows players to target specific parts of their foes' bodies, as well as letting them utilize finishing moves that usually result in slow-motion dismemberment. Delightful. Number 6. Code Vein Since its release in 2019, many people have been quick to write off Code Vein as just an anime version of Dark Souls, and whilst it does indeed draw upon the Souls series for much of its inspiration, we highly recommend giving it a shot before declaring it a clone. Code Vein players can expect a checkpoint system similar to Dark Souls bonfires, though these are replaced with plants called Missile, which allows players to take a rest and recoup their HP and regeneration uses. The latter is effectively the Code Vein equivalent of the Estus Flask, which allows players to heal on the fly. Though Code Vein's combat is tough, it isn't quite as challenging as the Soul series, so diehard fans for punishing fights might be a little disappointed, but it does mean that more casual gamers get the opportunity to try a Souls-like without getting frustrated. With that said, getting rid of the AI companion does make things a whole lot trickier, so that's absolutely an option for anyone who craves a hard fight. If players go into Code Vein expecting an exact replica of the Dark Souls experience, they're probably going to come away feeling a bit short-changed. they judge it based on its own merits though, i.e. a great story, fun combat, and an intriguing world, then they might just have a good time. Number 5. Mortal Shell for several of the games on this list, it takes a keen eye to spot the Souls-like elements, but take just a short glance at Mortal Shell and you'll know exactly what its inspiration is. The game's core mechanic are the titular Mortal Shells, the bodies of dead adventurers that the protagonist wears like a suit of armor. Each one corresponds to a different kind of playstyle, and they can all be picked up fairly early on in the game. One is a standard balance of stats, while another favors stamina over health, and so on and so forth. But how is it like Souls, I hear you cry? Well, other than the Mortal Shells mechanic, how is it not like Souls? The first thing players will notice is just how similar the overall look of the game is. They'll wander the map and experience a dark, oppressive landscape populated by disturbed NPCs who mutter cryptic bits of exposition. Naturally, the combat is also completely nails, and so players will need to tread carefully, strategize, and use the Mortal Shell to their advantage. Though Mortal Shell lacks some of the scope of the Soul series owing to its development by a lesser-known studio, it still manages to capture the essence of the games while still carving out an identity of its own. Number 4. Lords of the Fallen we briefly spoke about Lords of the Fallen in our The Surge entry, but it just so happens that it's also a gosh darned good Souls-like. What a coincidence. To say that Lords of the Fallen borrows from the Souls franchise is a bit of an understatement, as there is an awful lot that the game does that is reminiscent of Dark Souls. What it does take, however, it does so with a twist, putting its own signature on a number of different mechanics. Lords of the Fallen doesn't quite pose the same challenge as the games that it's heavily inspired by, but it still forces players to take a tactical approach to any combat encounters that they come across. It also puts its own spin on the bonfire system. When players reach a checkpoint, they can choose to either bank the XP they've earned, securing it, or they can keep it with them in order to multiply it, though naturally this comes with a certain amount of risk. Obviously, banking XP is the safer thing to do, but there's still the temptation to gamble the lot in order to earn a sweet Brucey bonus. You'd just better hope you don't get killed. Number 3. Salt and Sanctuary When you're trying to deal with all of the trappings of a Souls-like game, a third dimension might prove to be too much to handle. Fear not, because thanks to the good folks over at Scar Studios, players can enjoy all of the fun of Dark Souls in a 2D environment. Players begin the game as a stowaway on a ship bound for an unnamed country, along with a princess who is set to be married off to an opposing territory's king in order to secure peace between the two nations. It's not long before things go south, however, and the player character must set out on a quest to find the princess after she is taken by marauders and the ship is wrecked by a Cthulhu-like creature. Beyond the 2D gameplay and beautifully dark art style, Salt and Sanctuary is a Dark Souls through and through. Enemies drop salt, which can be used for leveling and upgrades. If the player dies, they must defeat the enemy that killed them in order to get them back, and of course, they will find themselves dying a lot. In short, Salt and Sanctuary is to Dark Souls what Terraria is to Minecraft, and though it borrows an awful lot from its inspiration, it also manages to be very unique. You go, Salt and Sanctuary. Number 2. Ashen 
Although players can choose to tackle Dark Souls in multiple different ways, overall the setting is fairly claustrophobic, so anyone looking for an open world experience might be a little disappointed in the amount of space the game gives them to freely roam. Enter Ashen, the 2018 RPG that proudly borrows a number of gameplay elements from the Souls series and inserts them into a stunning open world. To Dark Souls fans, Ashen will feel both completely familiar and entirely new. The combat mechanics are incredibly similar, the player character drinks from a crimson gourd to restore their health, and if they're killed, the player must return to the place that they died in order to retrieve all of their Soria. Yet, despite all of the things that Ashen lifts from the Souls series, it doesn't feel like a shameless clone. The story is a fairly standard tale of good versus evil, like Dark Souls, but the diverse open world and stunning cel-shaded art style gives the game an identity all of its very own. Like its inspiration, Ashen feels bleak and depressive, but unlike Dark Souls, it achieves it much more through what it doesn't show you than through what it does. Oh, and it has co-op too, which is always a nice bonus when you're sick of getting your ass handed to you by bosses. Number 1. Neo Arguably the best way to pay homage to something is to take what it does and then respectfully build on it to make it your own. This is exactly what developer Team Ninja did with 2017's Neo. No, not that one. A game that gives players all of the qualities of a Souls-like, but presented in a way that they've never seen before. Neo tells the story of William Adams, an Irish sailor who is inspired by the real-life William Adams, a man who was one of the only Western samurai to have ever existed. The game draws an awful lot of inspiration from Japanese folklore, and combines this with both traditional and Souls-like RPG elements to great effect. As in Dark Souls, players can expect to find a whole plethora of weapons and armor sets, a sparse checkpoint system which adds an extra level of risk to every action taken, plus absolutely massive skill trees. The combat is also heavily inspired by Dark Souls, utilizing a stamina bar that leaves William completely vulnerable if drained. The twist, though, is that a well-timed key pulse will replenish some of the lost stamina and give William some sweet buffs as well. Combine all of this with a fantastic story and tons of additional content, and it's easy to see why so many Souls fans have given Neo a big thumbs up.